It's Christine and I'm here with you today in Boston of all places. I'm actually going to fix a friend's 996. Uh, they have a uh, problem with the climate control LCD screen. It's uh, showing a very common problem called the half moon of death. And uh, this is what happens with most of these 996s. In fact, it's probably a much bigger problem than the IMS bearing. Fortunately, nowhere near as disastrous. <laughs> So we'll see if we can swap it out and get it working and uh, then this uh, this car will be able to show its climate and uh, you know all the different things that are shown by this little LCD screen. So down here we see the problem. There's the half moon. It's over on this side as well. There is a splitter in the middle here. Uh, but both of the sides of the screen you can see are messed up. So that pops up pretty easily. of exactly what sort of bolt it is. It's not a Phillips. Okay, something is different about this one. I've tried a bunch of different um, tips here because it, it is not a Phillips head, which I guess most of them are, but there's apparently been something aftermarket done here. And funnily enough, this little thing works just fine. So, do a little DMC seems to be coming out now. When you get this part from 914 Rubber, they're good enough to include little gloves that you see people wearing in these videos because they're a simple little thing that you might not have around all the time. Here is the part as it comes. It comes in this little box like that and it comes with these uh, directions. And uh, paper directions are great because a lot of times it's getting stuck in people's uh, spam mail if they're being emailed. But a DIY video is really the nicest of all, short of uh, augmented reality. So let's see what we can do here and get this done and uh, get it back into the car. Here's a little alcohol wipe too. How thoughtful. Those guys at 914 Rubber, they just think of it all. A lot of us have kits like this. Even, even the ladies tend to have something like that around the house, right? So there you can see it. There's that uh, problem child, we took it out. So we're gonna take that housing off and get it going. Okay, now we have the right kind of handle, going in the right direction. All helps a lot, got the right tool. These little guys on tape. Take each of these guys and straighten them out so that they will fit through. Okay, so now I understand why there are these two different types of fixtures on the back here. <clears throat> I think I've got them lined up enough to where I kind of had to use my nails and Cooperate and go through the slots without. I don't want to bend them. There. Right. You probably noticed when you take this part out that it's there are loose bits and pieces, and you want to make sure you keep it upright this way when you set it aside. Yeah, don't turn it because there are little buttons and things that can fall and get lost easily. And there's a card inside here. flexible bits actually conduct electricity. So there's the bad one. Bye bye, no more. Touch the front, touch as little as possible. And the little zebra connectors are in there. Front 
of LCD. So place the new LCD in the metal cage. Note the small tab in the center the line with the gap of the metal cage. Slide the new zebra connector in along the edge of the cage. No matter which way they go, they're the same on either side. for that to be. And that's gotten dirty, so... You can mess up these little metal tabs if you're not quite careful. Yeah, gently and carefully getting that. Alright, so now here, that's through. about the sustainability issues because it might need to be changed another time. You might need to do a third party thing and you want these little tabs to be able to uh, withstand another, another few of these procedures. Okay. Are those guys lining up. I'm huge. And these funny guys, these, uh, I don't know what kind of bolts these were, but, uh, I am going to bring the roll of tape even though I didn't really need it because it was a pretty good way to, uh, back up what I was doing to jack out the, the trim. Oh, we're ready to put this back into position. This little tab right here needs to clear. And this looks like it's just... Alright, that's in. Alright, so these guys go back in here. And I found, it's not a typical Phillips, it's this odd, <laughs> whatever that is, so. 
then voila! Now we have a working LCD. Fabulous! This is working! Yay! Yay! We can see it's working now. All these different little things. See before? Yay! Alright, done.